Hope you're well. So, this is the part two to the ginger beer with black treacle. Now, we started a month ago. Now, I let it go a little bit longer because I wanted to make sure that the ale yeast, uh, you know, we got a good reading from the ale yeast, and it's not just because I stopped it early. So, if you haven't seen the part one, I'll stick the link up at the top there. So, well, you can get caught up. So, I've gone ahead and I've sterilized everything I'm going to be using my worktop, my siphon tube, my peg, my spoon because well, we're going to be priming all my bottles as well as my hydrometer, the funnel and I can't sterilize the sugar but it is a fresh bag of sugar so I'm going to put the hydrometer in and let's see what it reads just give it a minute so the hydrometer has stopped moving and it is 1.004 so it didn't ferment to pure dryness which is cool because it means I don't have to back sweeten it a lot if anything at all but I'm going to have to try it so I'm going to go ahead and bottle them up in my Grouch bottles. These hold 500 ml and, well, I just like them. I like the... And since we're going to be carbonating this as well, makes sense. So uh, I'm just going to stick in my siphon tube somewhere around there. And in my peg of joy. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to fill up these eight bottles with ginger beer. So the siphoning has been complete. I've got my eight bottles, which are looking actually pretty good. They look like a beer. I've got some for my glass, and I've got a little bit extra if I really like it. So there's only really one way to find out what to do with this. That's to drink some. That's not bad. Now I was expecting the ginger to be more fiery, but um, it's not bad, it's pretty mellow on the ginger scale it's got a bit of fire to it but he got a little bit of that sort of licorice like aroma -y taste not so much on the honey front but eh, that's just how it goes now I do want this very slightly sweeter it is almost there if it had finished about I don't know 1.0010 10 10 if it finished around there I think it would have been perfect but it didn't so I'm gonna have to back swing it slightly so, since there is still active yeast, I'm going to be using some of my sucralose based sweetener. But I shouldn't need to use nearly as much as I normally do, since, well, it wasn't completely dry to start off with. Add in a little bit. And give it a little swirl. Cheers. is much better. I like that. So I'm going to be adding in some priming sugar. Now these are 500 ml bottles so I'm going to be priming them with half a teaspoon of sugar. Um, you don't have to be super super accurate. It can be like three quarters of a teaspoon but half a teaspoon is a good way to go. And I'm also going to be using some sweetener in my bottles since well this tastes really good. Mm. It actually really does taste good. Mm, nom, nom, nom. The more you drink it, the more fiery it gets. And I like the fire in the ginger. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use my sterilized funnel. I actually use boiling water because it dries the funnel as well. Since I'm going to be using sweetener. And I'm going to go through and add in one teaspoon of sweetener. and half a teaspoon of priming sugar. And I already have half a teaspoon measurement right there, check me. And in that goes. I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna do all of these bottles. So they've all been added, sweetener and sugar. The sweetener is for just sweetness, because well, it's my personal taste. If you wanna add more, add more. If you don't wanna add any, don't add any but uh, I like ginger with a bit of sweetness to it. And now I just need to shake up the bottles to mix up the sugar and, you know, the sweetener that's on the top. So all of our bottles are now mixed. They've got the priming sugar, which is gonna carbonate our lovely, lovely ginger beer. We've also got the sweetener we've added in, which, you know, is just gonna be there for sweetness that can't be fermented by the yeast. And I used the funnel instead of the finger funnel. And just because these rubber seals 
You really need to get a good tight seal on the glass, otherwise it won't carbonate properly. So the easiest way, bypass it by using a funnel. Or just clean them off. But uh, I have ginger beer that I can drink right now. It tastes really good. If you like ginger and you like um, licorice, that tastes pretty damn good. Mm. This is your thing. But we're carbonating these. So I'm going to stick them somewhere out of the way for about two weeks. Then we're going to have a cheeky crack it open and tasting once these are chilled and oh, pretty. So I hope you join me for that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out some of the other ones and well, subscribe if you feel like it. Carry on humbering guys. See you later. Ginger beer. So I just want to take a second to thank my patrons. Uh, they're helping me grow the channel, upgrade my equipment, all of that fantastic stuff. And as a thank you to them and for future patrons, I also do four Patreon-only videos per month. So it's pretty handy if you want a little bit extra. Um, so there's some other links to videos down below. And of course, the Patreon and subscribe button. Don't forget to check those out. See ya.